tonight's focus on Arizona giving and leading looks at the Arizona Educational Foundation's launch of a program called United, which attempts to unite education officials and business leaders for the benefit of public education and business concerns. Here to tell us more are Bobby O'Boyle, Executive Director of the Arizona Educational Association, and Alicia Mandel, Vice President for Organization, Effectiveness and Inclusion at the Apollo Group. Good to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Did I get it right? Is that what the United Program is? You've got it right, exactly. It's kind of a takeoff on the old Principal for a Day program that the City of Phoenix ran for years. But what we what we want to do with it is extend it beyond that one day of shadowing where a business partner shadows a principal for a day and uh, gets an idea of what a day in the life of a principal is like. What we want them to do is form a partnership that can last beyond that one visit and lead to benefits for the school. How can you make it last beyond one visit? Give us an example. You were involved in this as well. Uh, how does a business leader not only shadow but, but get more of an, uh, uh, an idea of what goes on in public schools? You know, I think what's really important is getting involved in the first place. When I first got involved with the program, I thought it was going to be a uh, uh, the principal was going to say that he needed a donation from me or some money from my from my company. But what we really did was we spent a lot of time working together um, over the course of the whole year to figure out how we can best partner for the long term. Um, and we did tons of stuff together. We're still really uh, in touch. Is, is it to go? Is it kind of a win-win situation where both the business leader and the education leader uh, they both get something out of this? You know, Apollo Group is about education. We're an education company. We're the, we're the leading um, employer of, of, uh, in, in Arizona. And we care about our community, and we care about public education. Uh, so I got really lucky. My company um, allowed me to go and spend the day and the year uh, and continue to stay involved with my organization. It's a great thing for companies to do. How, how does this exactly work? I mean, is it, there's got to be some mentoring there, I would imagine, coaching, mm -hmm. consultation, these sorts of things. But again, other than shadowing and other than looking at that and going, I had no idea, maybe more informational than anything else, how does it work? How do the benefits come out? Well, the benefits are determined by the needs of the school and the resources that the business partner can bring to the table. And as Alicia mentioned, it doesn't have to be uh, cash. I mean, that's not what schools are looking for necessarily. Um, sometimes the relationship can develop in, in the form of a mentor, mentee relationship, or uh, possibly a playground structure, or an support for an after-school program, uh, support uh, employees of the corporation going in and reading to the children on a regular basis, whether it be monthly, weekly, quarterly, um, but there are just myriad ways that businesses can get involved in schools and really become aware of what's going on uh, rather than depending just on, on news you know, press releases and so forth. I was going to say, it sounds like the idea is to help business leaders understand the nature of public education and vice versa. Um, what do they need to know? Well, I think that they need to just have a better understanding and appreciation for what educators are faced with on a daily basis. And I also think that it's important for them to get in and see the successes that are happening in the schools every day. Um, we often hear the negative things um, in the media about education, and we, talk, we hear about the budget cuts and everything else. But the fact is that those kids are going to walk through that school door every day and want to know what their spelling word list is, or you know what they're going to have for lunch, or you know what they're going to learn in history class. Um, and I think the business folks need to appreciate that educators are doing everything that they can and doing an excellent job meeting the needs of their students. What, what do business leaders need to know? Again, accenting um, what was said, what, what, are they, what are they not getting right now? The information they're not getting right now. And education leaders, what do they need to know about business and business concerns? You know, one of the things that was um, so striking to me is at the beginning of this program, we spent a half a day learning about how the education system in, in uh, Arizona gets funded. And I was shocked. I had no idea. I mean, I think people spend a lot of time sitting on their couch reading the newspaper and complaining about the public education system. And they have no idea about the heroes that are at the school every day, the principals, the teachers, the superintendents that are doing they're pulling off miracles every day without having the money. And so people can complain a lot, but they really need to go out there and get involved. And what companies can do is help to support that and help to promote it, because it's only going to make for a better community. Are you seeing light bulbs go off over uh, business leaders' heads once they get into the classroom and follow these people around? Absolutely. Same thing, same with you? Absolutely. You betcha. 
You betcha. I think that, that hands-on approach, yes. that actually being in the classrooms, in the office, uh, at the school, and seeing what's going on um, helps them to realize what the challenges are. Okay, direct benefit to the student. People are watching right now and they're saying, this is all fine and dandy, what about my kid? What about their kid? Mm -hmm. How are they helped? Well, if they have a business partner like uh, Apollo, like Alicia at Apollo Group, or uh, you know, we have the Musical Instrument Museum, for example, in a partnership with the Arizona School for the Arts, um, every partnership we hope um, will benefit the children at the school where the, the business happens to to have that partnership and. and you know, we, the Arizona Educational Foundation, will do everything that we can to make sure that that partnership is successful, beneficial, and sustainable. And last question, how long of a commitment are we talking about here in terms of this partnership? You know, it's really on your own terms. I created a great partnership with Mario, who's the principal at Bronson Lee Elementary, where I partnered in the Ball School District. Um, and we met when our time allowed, probably monthly, maybe quarterly, but I brought other resources from Apollo Group in with me to supplement. So we had a communications club. We had a mentoring program that started up. Um, I've had them come and meet with the dean of the School of Education. So we've really expanded, and not just on me, but it's, got, it's gotten a life of its own inside of Apollo Group. Well, it certainly sounds encouraging. Thank you both for joining us tonight and telling us more about it. We appreciate it. Thank you Thank for you. having us.